So this video is going to show you how to prove that a quadrilateral is a rectangle. So if you're in your worksheet, it's number seven. I've already graphed it. Uh, first, what you want to do, whether it's a rectangle, rhombus, or square, is prove it's a parallelogram. So to prove it's a parallelogram, opposite sides are parallel, which means they have the same slope. So we're going to start off just like we're proving a parallelogram. So I'm going to find the slope of the opposite sides. They should be the same. So let's start with the slope of AB. The slope formula is y minus y over x minus x. And if we do that, I'm going to start with point A. We're going to have negative 1 minus a negative 5, which turns to positive. And going back to point A, negative 4 minus a negative 2, which again is positive. On the top, I'll have 4. On the bottom, I'll have negative 2. And reduced down, we get negative 2. I like to do the slope of the opposite side to show you know, that it's the same, just right underneath it. So the opposite side of AB is side DC. So let's do DC. OK, so same formula. I'm going to start with point C, actually. So y minus y, negative 2 minus 2 over 4 minus 2. We have negative 4 divided by 2, which again is negative 2. So you can see that those two sides are parallel. We're just going to keep going here. We're going to do the opposite sides. These should be the same. I'm going to do uh, the top side there, AD. AD, it doesn't look like an A, but it's an A. OK, negative 1 minus 2. Then we have a negative 4 minus 2. So negative 3 over negative 6, which reduces down to positive 1 half. Make sure you always reduce down, especially in this question. You'll see in a few minutes. The last side to find the slope is uh, BC. And if we do it correctly, we should be getting 1 half again. So y minus y, negative 5 minus a negative 2 turns to plus, And then negative 2 minus 4. So we have negative 3 on the top, we have a negative 6 on the bottom, negative divided by negative reduces, and we get 1 half. Now this just shows it's a parallelogram. More specifically, we have to think about a rectangle. Now there's different properties about a rectangle that aren't true for just a parallelogram, but the one that stands out the most going to the graph, which you can clearly see, is that a rectangle has four right angles. So then let's think. When we have right angles, we have what kind of lines? We have perpendicular lines, right? When we have perpendicular lines, what can we get from that You know, using the slope formula? We know this, the slope would be negative reciprocals. Now, we've already used the slope formula. So we don't have more work here with using a formula. But let's check out what we have. OK, so yes, we have you know, the opposite sides of parallel, negative 2, negative 2, and 1 half. But look at the consecutive sides, meaning two sides next to each other. Um, let's say side A, B, and B, C. I'm just going to circle it so you can see. Here's A, B. Here's B, C. Those are two sides next to each other. See how the slopes are negative reciprocals?